Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Thursday, September 29th, 2016, and it's an S60. The SAT word of the day is rectify, which means put right or correct. Today for lunch, we have crispy chicken tenders, and today on the show, we have two, two, um, so sit back and relax because the NHS update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Mary Erickson. And I'm Ron Marshallsee. National Honor Society members have a mandatory meeting on Tuesday after school in the GSU Lecture Hall. If you cannot attend, please see an officer, Mrs. Crimmings, or Ms. Newman before the meeting. Today, the ninth grade election is being held during lunch. Let's send it over to our political correspondent, Michael Dooley, to talk to candidate number one. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm here with Allie McDonough to talk about the election. So, Allie, what's an issue at NHS that you care about? Um, one issue is that a lot of people aren't really involved, like student council, we need more people just to represent us. All right, and uh, what's your agenda and some of your plans? Um, I don't have any plans yet because I've only been here for a short while, but I think the longer I will be here, then I'll have more problems to solve. All right, and um, is there a message you want to give to the ninth grade watching? Um, just I hope you'll vote for me because I think I would make a good president. All right, let's send it back to the desk. Good luck, Allie. Reminder to any students that want to participate in, this, in the team competition at the Spirit Rally must sign up in teams of eight with Miss Barefoot in the guidance office. Now let's send it back to Michael Dewey with candidate number two. Hey Mustangs, I'm here with Sam Mosa Ogbontain to talk about his uh, views. <clears throat> What's an issue that you really care about in NHS? Well, I've talked to members of the student body in classes at lunch during studies. They said they feel like they're being marginalized, cast aside by certain traditions and practices. All right, and what's your agenda with some of your plans? Well, we're trying to change the idea of upperclassmen and underclassmen. I've even talked to some people that even suggest a new lunch system for seating, eating outside, and they want to challenge the idea that seniors are the only ones that can sit outside. All right, and uh, is, there an, uh, is there a message that you want to give to the ninth grade? You're never too young to get involved. There's so much to do. Get out there, join a club, do anything. All right, well, you heard it here. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Mike, and good luck to Sam, and good luck to all the freshmen running in today's election. Tuesday is MEFA College Financing Night. MEFA will provide an overview of the financial aid process. Parking spaces for juniors will close Friday, September 30th. Friendship Club is painting pumpkins for the annual fundraiser today after school in the dining hall. We'll be back after this message. Do you love fall? What better way to get ready for Halloween than painting pumpkins with your friends? Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Attention juniors and seniors, the guidance office has arranged for two local employers to visit NHS in early November to go over student resumes and help students overcome the anxiety of applying for employment by practicing face-to-face -face interview skills. If you are interested, leave your name with Mrs. Morrison and guidance. Now here's Christian with your sports update. Good morning, Mustangs. Yesterday, golf had a tough loss to Milton. Today for games, boys soccer is playing Framingham at home. Girls soccer and volleyball are away at Framingham, and golf has a match against Milton at home. Well, that's all I have today. Now back to the desk. Well, that's all we have for today, and don't forget that tomorrow is Norwood Pride Day. And be sure to check us out at Mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. Have a great day, Mustangs.